This lesson is to work on steps and enharmonics. Now, you should have already finished lessons on this keyboard. There's lots of information here. This is just a review. It's not gonna really explain it to you and go as in depth as these lessons here. So you really need to have a basic understanding of how it works before doing this worksheet, okay? But super quick review. A uh, half step is the smallest possible interval or two touching notes, okay? And it gives you the examples of C to C sharp, because there's a black key in between. And remember, this black key really goes all the way down in between as far as the sound. The sound of this key is in between the sound of C and the sound of D. So C to C sharp is a half step. G flat to G is a half step. D sharp, here's a D sharp to E is a half step, okay? Natural half steps are E to F, we talked about these at length in the other videos, and B to C. Because they naturally touch each other the whole way, there is no black key in between, there's no sound in between, they are naturally half steps apart. So E to F and B to C. Whole steps are two half steps. So for example, C to D. So we went C to C sharp, C sharp to D. So this is a half step plus a half step. So C to D would be a whole step. Okay, G sharp to B flat. So here's G sharp. We're gonna go G sharp to A is a half step. A to either A sharp or B flat. In this case, it said B flat. But they are still a half step plus a half step apart. They are a whole step apart. B to C sharp. Now we're involving a natural half step. So look, you're on B, you go up a half step to C, you go up another half step to C sharp. So B to C sharp, is a whole, a whole step, okay? And then enharmonic is two names for the same note. So just like we talked about uh, somewhere, maybe here, I don't know, somewhere we talked about uh, A sharp and B flat, I think, how A sharp is one way to call it, is one name for this note, and B flat is the other one. Depending on the situation, you might be able to choose the name or you might be given the name, and you just need to know it's the same key, A sharp and B flat, okay? So we'll talk about that more as we keep going. Okay, so this keyboard, there's a little mini keyboard right here for you. You're probably not gonna be able to see it on the screen, but you should be able to see it on your paper. I also forgot to mention at the beginning, this one is treble clef. If you have a bass clef, that's totally fine. This is the same video for both worksheets because they're made to where the answers are the same. The notes are gonna look slightly different down here. They're gonna be on different lines and spaces, but the answers should be the same. So you're fine. So if you're bass clef, just make sure you're looking at your paper more than at the screen, but it should be all the same that we're talking about. All right, so you can use your little mini keyboard um, and you might also have the larger size you can use or you can use this one that we did in the other lesson, okay? But you're gonna to wanna to refer to it. All right, so it's saying half steps. We're gonna work on half steps on this line. A half step above, make sure you look carefully if we're doing above or below, okay? A half step above C sharp. So I'm gonna use a bigger one with hopes you can kind of see it, but you can also just look at your, your paper, okay? All right, so here's C sharp. We need to go up a half step. That is gonna be D. Let's do one more together. F sharp, a half step above F sharp. Here's F sharp. Go up a half step, it's G. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and finish the next three on your own. Okay, a half step below A is A flat. You could put G sharp if you want. A half step below F sharp, so here's F sharp. A half step below is just plain old F. Okay, and then a half step below C is not, I do not want you to put C flat. We'll talk about that in a minute. It's a B. Now, if you put C flat, depending on, you know, who's grading the paper and what they've told you, it, it technically could be correct, technically. But what that really tells me as a teacher is you probably don't understand, okay? Because you probably just looked at this and put C with a flat sign makes it half step below. But 98% of the time, we are not gonna call this note C flat. We're gonna call this note B, okay? It's not quite the same as these enharmonics. It's a little bit different. This one is almost always called B. It's very rare that it would be called C flat. And more than that, if you put C flat here, 
that tells me you're just going, well, I'm just going to add a flat every time I see a down arrow. And that's not really understanding how the natural half steps work. So I really don't want you to put a C flat unless there's some special reason why you would put a C flat. And there's sometimes are times, but in general, you need to use, when we're talking about natural half steps, you need to put the simplest possible way. Okay. All right. Now, whole steps. Let's talk about whole steps. A whole step above D sharps. You're going to find your D sharp right here. You're going to go up a whole step. So D sharp to E, E to F. Again, we're not going to call this E sharp. We're going to call this F because that is almost always what it's going to be called. Okay, and the way it's going to be written. A whole step above A sharp. Okay, again, A sharp to B, B to C. We're going to call it C, not a B sharp. Even though technically, yes, B sharp is the same, the enharmonic. Um, that's not showing me you're really understanding how this works. A whole step below G. So here's G to G flat, G flat to F. So that's F. A whole step below G sharp. So here's G sharp. If you go down a half step and down a half step again, you get to this one. Now here, I would say you could pick. You could put F sharp or G flat. I'm going to put F sharp. I think that makes a little more sense. Um, but technically on this one, it doesn't, it's not as much like a right or wrong answer. And then a whole step below F, F to E, E to this note. You could put E flat or you could put D sharp. I'm going to put E flat because usually when we're talking whole steps, we try to change that by one letter name. But Okay, now let's talk about enharmonics, okay? What is the enharmonic of C sharps? So you're going to find your C. You're going to go up a half step. Um, now, remember, when you take a, you know, a test on this, or if you don't have the keyboard in front of you, you won't be able to just look up here. So you really also want to understand how to find it yourself, okay? So C going up a half step is C sharp. The other name for that note then would be D flat. Let's do this with one that doesn't have all the answers written on it, okay? All right, so now let's do one on A sharp, okay? So A sharp, so you're gonna to find your A, here's your C, B, A, here's your A. Go up a half step, so this key right here is A sharp. The other name for that is gonna be this note lower. This is a B, because this is C, this is B, B flat. Okay, so see what I mean about, you wanna be able to do it even when the answers aren't written on there. And if you think about it on your instrument, you're not even gonna be able to look at it. So this is, the keyboard's already giving you help. All right, and harmonic of G flat. So let's find our G flat. Here's C, D, E, F, G. Here's our G. So we're talking about this key right here is G flat. What would the other note be, the other name be? This note, sharped. So this note right here is F. F sharp is the same as G flat, okay? So F sharp. Okay, go ahead and finish those two on your own, knowing that in both of these cases, we're talking about natural half steps. Okay, so F flat, so we're gonna find F, we're gonna go down a half step. I'm sorry, yeah, F down a half step is F flat. The other name for that note is E, plain old E. Now in this case, E sharp really is just flat out wrong because E sharp is this note right here. And sometimes, again, this tells me people aren't understanding, kids will see that and they'll just go down and throw a sharp sign on it. So they'll go, well, it must be an E sharp. No, an E sharp is a whole different key. Okay, same thing here, B sharp, here's your B, go up a half step, you're on C. If you say C flat, that is just wrong, like that's just a different key. So you really, these natural half steps, that's where we can really tell if you're understanding. So B sharp, the enharmonic, the other name for B sharp is C, okay? All right, now this last part says, and remember if you're bass clef, your notes will look slightly different, but your answers, your notes should be the same. Your note names should be the same. So for treble clef, we're going from an A to a B. From bass clef, we're going from an A to a B, if that makes sense. Okay, so you're gonna find A to B on your keyboard, and you're gonna decide if it's a half step or a whole step, okay? So A, here's A, here's B. There's a black key in between, that's a whole step. Let's do one more together. Okay, D to E flat. So find your D, find your E flat. Those are touching notes, they're as close as possible. That is a half step. Do these three on your own. 
Okay, G to A is a whole step, C to D is a whole step, and B to C sharp is a whole step because of the half, the natural half step. B to C, C to C sharp, B to C sharp is a whole step. All right, now on this next one, you're supposed to make the two notes and harmonics by adding any needed sharps and or flats, okay? So when we're done, we want these two notes to be the same key on the keyboard. That's our goal, is to make these two notes the same. Right now, they're not the same. Right now, we have an F and a G, two totally different notes. We wanna turn this into the same note, okay? So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna raise the F and lower the G. So an F sharp, is the same note, the enharmonic, the same key on the keyboard as G flat. So now they're enharmonics. You would actually finger those notes, play those notes the same exact way. Okay, let's do one more together. We're gonna jump over here to this one, the third one, because it involves a natural half step, okay? So instead of having to adjust both of the notes, when you have a whole step, you have to adjust them both so that they meet in the middle. But when you have a natural half step, you're only gonna adjust one or the other because otherwise you would like pass each other. So E to F, so find your E and F on the keyboard. You can either make the E and E sharp, which would make E sharp and F and harmonics, or you can make the F and F flat, would make E flat and, I'm sorry, F flat and E and harmonics, but you can't do both, because if you do E sharp and F flat, you're on two different notes, okay? So you can choose, you can either do E sharp or F flat. I'm gonna go ahead and just do an E sharp, but again, F flat is also correct. Okay, why don't you go ahead and finish these three and then come back and we'll check. Okay, so D to E is a whole step, so we're gonna have to raise the D and lower the E. So D sharp to E flat is an enharmonic. G sharp, and A flat are enharmonics, C sharp and D flat are enharmonics. So when it's a whole step, you have to adjust them both. When it's a natural half step, you're just gonna adjust one or the other. The link to the next lesson in this video series can be found in the description below.